Alistair, welcome to Western Voice 2022. Um, I'll be one of your MCs, Owen. And I'll be your other MC, Rachel. First of all, we'd like you to introduce yourself. Please give us your name, year, and program. Okay, my name's Esther. I'm in fourth year, and my program is medical science. Cool. All right, so our first question is, what does music mean to you? I don't want to say something like completely cheesy. Like, given a question like this, I can't help it, right? Yeah, be as cheesy as you want, honestly. <laughs> the cheesier, the better, honestly. I guess it's just kind of like therapeutic to me at this point. Like, with everything getting so busy in fourth year of like medical sciences, trying to get ready for like med applications, like grad applications, everything, music's just kind of like a route of escapism. It's just what I do if I want some peace and happiness in my in my day to day life. Another music related question: Who has inspired you most throughout the musical career? I mean, seeing as the majority of my um, musical career has been just singing in the shower, I guess I'll say who inspired me the most is probably um, maybe Pink Sweats. Not for any particular reason, just because like he's one of my favorite artists, and he's probably the artist that I listen to most often in the shower. So. I love Pink Sweats. Did you go to his concert recently? Yes, I did. <gasps> I, I want actually, to go. I got the call that like I made it into like Western Voice while I was at the concert. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got the number and it was unfamiliar. So I'm like, maybe this could be important. So I picked it up. I'm like, hello. And they're like, congrats, Western Voice. And I'm like, oh, that's amazing. I gotta go. <laughs> <We're> tomorrow. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> So the next question is more of like a fun question, but if you could be part of any fictional world, which one would it be? You're sending me back to like my middle school Wattpad days. <laughs> hey, um, one of my favorite like series as a kid was Hunger Games, but I definitely don't want to go there. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. I'd be one of the ones who like dies immediately after they get off the platform. <laughs> So not what if like you're just part of district one and just living as a regular person but then i'd feel like a really awful person i think most <laughs> kids our age would pick harry potter i was gonna say harry potter for myself too yeah i mean like as long as i get some powers i'm down to be in the harry potter world this question if you can't think of anything feel free to just be like i can't think of anything but what is the dumbest way you've been injured one time i got in a huge argument with my dad it wasn't like anything serious I think he just like told me to like calm down and I got even more pissed off mm -hmm. and so this was when I was what like 12 so I was just super dramatic I went to the bathroom where we have like tiled walls and I punched the wall as hard as I could because apparently I think I'm some kind of Kyle and I bruised the hell out of my hand but the unfortunate thing is the next day I had like a talent show where I was doing taekwondo which is like a type of martial arts so I had to break some boards, but my hand was all bruised up. So that was pretty embarrassing. Oh, it's kind of hey. hard to explain to my parents why, why I did that. Wait, did you break the tile? Did you no, break the tile? I'm pretty sure I was closer to breaking my hand than the tile. This is one of our last questions, but if you could have a fandom name, like how Justin Bieber calls his followers the Beliebers, what would your fandom name be? I don't really have the most like fashionable name to like make into that kind of thing. Like Esther, that's like a grandma name. Ah, no! <laughs> oh, my Instagram handle is actually Kogomanjang, which means in Korean, it loosely translate to, translates to sweet potatoes are the best. So maybe sweet potatoes? Is that like potatoes? I like that. I like yeah. that. <laughs> are you going to be the next Western voice? I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice. I love it. Woo! Oh, okay. that's gonna look bad in the interview. People are gonna be like, oh, she doesn't even believe in herself. You can no, it's okay. try it. We can do it again. Are you going to be the next Western voice? <laughs> that's as much yeah. as we got the pressure. Woo! Okay, and that wraps up our interview. <laughs> that was so fun, you guys. I'm gonna go back to bed. Oh okay. my gosh. Okay, thank you so much for waking up for us, coming out. Yeah. Have a great day. Bye. I get well soon. Bye.